한국 쇼트트랙 남자 계주의 세계 랭킹은 캐나다와 아슬아슬하게 1, 2위를 다투고 있습니다. 자칭 아시아 빙상 강국으로 꼽히는 일본과 중국이 바로 그 뒤를 잇고 있는데요. 남자 스피드 스케이팅에서 두각을 드러내고 있는 일본이 쇼트트랙에서도 한국을 이기겠다며 이를 갈고 나왔습니다. 마침 동계 유니버시아드 남자 계주 중결승에서 한국과 일본, 네덜란드, 미국이 한 조에 편성됐습니다. 일본보다 랭킹에서 뒤처지는 미국과 네덜란드와의 경기라 일본은 무난히 한국과 일본이 결승에 갈 것으로 예상했는데요. 네덜란드는 6위, 미국은 랭킹 12위에 있었기에 자신감이 넘쳤습니다. 몸에 너무 힘을 줘서일까요? 초반부터 한국 스타일을 따라하며 제일 뒤에서 경기를 펼치던 일본이 예상 밖의 상황과 만나게 되는데요. 지금부터 그 현장으로 함께 가보시겠습니다. Transition, but uh, early days in Japan. Uh, sorry, Korea. Will be fine. They sit in second place at the moment, sitting behind the USA. Korea move into first place from the USA and the Netherlands. Third, the pace just starting to pump up a little bit. Teams looking to make a transition at the same time here, sharing the load in the early phases. Korea for USA, Netherlands, and Japan. Japanese athletes. Press from Japan coming around the outside to take the lead, and that was a pre planned move from Japan because. Uh, Their transition was very wide on the line. They knew that was coming. Korea have responded. Japan from Korea, the USA and the Netherlands. So Japan had a little press there. And they've taken to the front, but a little bit of extra work's gone in from Japan. They wanted to up the pace here. Just what they've done. University record of 4-12-3-2-2. The steady pace at the beginning. But uh, that's on the line to get beaten. Korea going up front from Japan now. USA staying in third. Japan switching places up the front again. USA and the Netherlands just uh, hanging back, trying to stay in contact, not getting any trouble. Transition for all four teams again. Japan still at the front now from Korea. Top two teams going through here. 21 laps completed, make that 22. Sorry, 20 to go, I should say. And uh, Korea have a go at the front. Netherlands looking in fourth place for. The gap to the lead. They wanted to stay in touch with the leading pair of Korea and Japan, who've exchanged the lead a couple of times. Now Japan slipped back into the lead. Go wide on the exit of the bend, but uh, they just put a little bit of distance here between them. The USA and the Netherlands have responded to close that gap up. 
Japan stay in the lead. Now, there has been a sharing of the work at the front between Japan and Korea. USA now deciding to step up and Korea drop into third place. Now we'll see a response. For sure we'll see a response. USA going up. the lead and a fall from the Japanese athletes oh dear USA fall but it was the handover man that fell down he needs to get back up and back into the middle Japan have gone out of this but they're chasing this one down they're gonna have to work hard on the transitions and uh, USA slip back into the lead from Korea and the Netherlands can Japan get this one back I'm not sure they can because the USA are right up behind Korea just having to ease off on the transition. Now they put the power down to try and keep Japan out of this. USA at the front from Korea. This is a great race, made all the more exciting by a Japanese fall because Japan and Korea were looking like they were well in control of this. Korea slipped back into the lead. The Netherlands trying to come up, and the onside, oh, that was nearly a massive tumble there. Netherlands just holding on, but USA had a big wobble there. Netherlands move up into second place. Japan desperately trying to get it back into this, but Korea up the front for the Netherlands, and the USA fighting hard to get back into this. Oh my goodness me, Brendan Kim comes on for the USA to try and hunt this one down with seven to go, but Korea and the Netherlands have gone out on a bar play now have to just stay neat and tidy. USA are clawing this one back. They could get back into this. Korea are pushing hard at the front. They've made a gap to the Netherlands. They've made a big gap to the Netherlands. All three teams making a transition. Clean from Korea, clean from the Netherlands, but even quicker from the USA. But the USA just going wide there. My goodness me, what a race this is. There's going to be two to go as they cross the line. This is tremendous stuff. Korea getting past Japan. They've lapped them. The Netherlands still in second place. They cross the line. They're going to get the bell the next time around. Korea leading from the Netherlands. USA have burnt out here. Japan had a fall. And Korea are going to take this one. The Netherlands have benefited from the fall from Japan and then a massive wobble from the USA but Korea and the Netherlands go through to the Med Republic of Korea